Thank you for coming back to this conversation, and it is a good one. We are chatting with Chadwick Boyd, whose busy, high-paced lifestyle came to a screeching halt after a terrible fall in Paris. Let's talk about the healing, right? And we're looking here at you in physical therapy. This was basically two years of two learning years. how to move again. I had to learn how to walk. Mm. And, and and I did not know that even coming out of my surgery, that that's what was ahead for me. Mm. Uh, and when you hear that, it's very sobering. I mean, it right. really takes you down to the core. And you had mentioned earlier <clears throat> about the mental part. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of physical activity here, you know, trying to retrain my brain and my leg to work. There's yeah. a lot of things between our brain and our legs, right? Right. But the mental part is excruciating. It is the, the most, work, most difficult it? part. Yes. Yeah. And it literally stripped me down to, um, I, I had six, almost two months of just being immobilized. Wow. And what was laying, that like for you? It was very isolating. And I, I mean, follow you on social media, I should say. So I remember some of your posts. Yeah. I, I, you were going through it. I was trying to be as real and raw mm -hmm. in the moment, uh, because I think we all need to witness that from others yeah. so that when it does happen to you, you know, you can go back and go, oh my gosh, I remember this. Yeah. Right? That was my intent behind it. But sitting there, I, I had to recover in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you've got the most, the busiest city in the world and you've just got happening around you mm -hmm. as summertime is happening, let me tell you, oh, yeah. as a very active, busy person, that is really difficult. Yeah. Uh, but as much as I resisted, I realized that the only way through this was for me to breathe mm -hmm. and to just let it all go. So you had to let some a, a lot of things go, right? This this experience for you was far beyond the physical recovery. Yes. There were some childhood trauma issues. So there were some emotional issues, right, that speak to our mental health, not just the physical health yes. that you had to deal with. Let's tell me more. You know, Jane Fonda a few years ago said that uh, the challenge is not to be perfect; it's to be whole. Mm. And my experience really was being completely broken down oh. so I could become whole. And through all of that, it, it forced me to go back to early issues as a boy that drove my perfection and my, you know, mm. have to be successful all the time. Mm. I, I couldn't rely on the things that I relied on for 50 years. And you really hadn't had a chance to spend any time going back to little boy Chadwick because you're busy, you're successful, you're having this amazing career, right? Exactly. How did it feel? Was it hard to have to, and you had no choice, right? It was physical therapy and go back home and sit. Right. How hard Not even was physical that? therapy at that time. Mm. I hadn't even done that. It was just the And then it moved from being on the couch immobilized, completely, you know, uh, having a brace and you're wrapped up mm -hmm. to crutches, a wheelchair, a walker. Mm -hmm. Those are all pretty humbling when you are a very active yes, person. And fit and in good shape, yeah. which you are. So was there, there was physical therapy. There was all of these things. Was there a, a conversation uh, with a therapist as well? Absolutely. I had to, you know, I have always, uh, I'm a very spiritual person. Um, I believe very much in prayer. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in a higher power. Um, all of this challenged all of those things of how I connected to that and, you know, the whys and, and everything that I think comes from the human experience. Mm -hmm. um, I don't wish that for everybody to go through that, right. but for me, it literally was the breaking down to the core. Mm -hmm. um, Changes to the become, conversation with God when it's just you and God and no other distractions and no, and else, no other right. checklist to do. You can't lists. move. You can't do anything. You need to receive. Biggest lesson that you learned in that need to receive uh, aha moment. I learned that uh, my purpose was, it is, um, to surprise and delight in everything that I do mm. and to create 
meaningful moments that matter to people. So through my cooking, through my writing, through my business, through my appearances, everything. Mm -hmm. And I am so much more um, anchored in that. Mm -hmm. It so was so clarifying. Delight. Yes. I want to, so we, our viewers see this. Explain why this was such a big milestone for you. Why was this your surprise and delight? So some people, when they go through it, right, they get to ring a bell. Mm -hmm. I got to bend my leg. It took me almost two years to be able to do that and to do it stably. Mm -hmm. And now I just signed up for a 10K race in April. Congratulations. So I finally am stable and I can run again. Yes. And that for me, as somebody who's been very active all of my life, I am so energized and excited. And I feel like there's really a, a metaphor there for being stable and being able to run. You're stable with your life now and have, having addressed some things from the past. And now you can move forward in your surprise and delight. That's right. Well, I know you're about to surprise me and delight me <laughs> with the cooking that we also know you for, right? You know I can't come here and not cook. Absolutely not. We're not having that. <laughs> so stay with us when we return. We are going to the cooktop with Chadwick Boy. Look at that. Look at that. That's the salmon. You see vegetables. You see some citrus. Know that this is about to be really good. We'll be right back.